Hello, this is Dana, and today I have a video featuring Art Impressions new Twist Ties stamp sets. Um, the one I'm going to be using today is the Elephant Twist Ties, and each of these sets comes with three clear stamp sets and two matching dies. Sold separately, you can also get a Twist Ties card and envelope 8-pack, uh, um, and the card bases come already scored and cut at uh, the right measurements. Um, the stamp sets do have instructions, so you can always create, make your own card base if you'd like. Um, it's not required, but it is nice to um, have these already pre-made. Uh, they're already um, the right measurements that you need and scored at the right um, spot. So it kind of just makes it a little easier. I also picked out some pattern paper, but um, later on I actually ended up not actually using it. I did base uh, the colors that I used on this card from that pattern, um, but I set it aside and actually totally forgot about it. So, um, so you, know, you can see the pattern, but I'm not going to actually use it. So to get started, um, I just peeled the clear stamp set off the backing, and I'm going to use my Misty to help me with the stamping. And each of the clear stamps come with this little L that you need to fit in the corner of your card base. And you want this L, it will stamp if it's inked, but you do not want it to actually um, be on your card. You want it to actually be off your card. So I don't know if you could see in the close up, but once I actually ink it up with some memento ink, and stamp it, you can see that it actually stamped off onto my Misty and not onto my card uh, base. And that's what you want. Um, so you want to line that L up with the corner of your card base. Uh, your image should just kiss the edge of your card base. Um, I like to uh, stamp my images twice just to get a nice good dark line. So I did that for that one side. And then I just flipped the card over and added the second image and again lining up that L along the bottom corner and making sure of course that it is off the edge um, and of course with them being clear it kind of helps so that way um, you can actually see through the stamp to the corner. You don't have to ink up that little um, L shape um, I just did just to kind of show you what it would look like if you did um, but you can totally just not even bother with inking it up yourself. Um, I decided that I was going to kind of color and do some fu fussy cutting, so I went and I stamped both of the images again on some scrap paper. And of course, I like to stamp them twice just to get a nice, good dark line. And then I'm going to use my Spectrum Noir markers to actually color them up and um, I used basic warm grays, I think it is. Um, I used uh, the BG 2, 4, 6, and 7. And then I just go and color away. I'm just going to color this one, uh, speed up the video, and kind of play a little bit of music so you can watch the coloring. Um, I'm just going to do this one elephant. Um, I didn't think you guys wanted would want to watch me color both elephants. Um, so I did end up coloring the other guy off camera. So um, I'm gonna play a little bit of music and I'll be back in just a few minutes.
right, and now I'm back. I'm going to use a stencil to um, add a colorful pattern to the front of my card. Um, I'm just going to use a Heidi Swap a diagonal striped stencil. I'm going to use washi tape to hold it down, and then some paper tape to mask off the back of the card. And I'm just uh, lining it up with the fold of the card. And then I'm going to use some different distress inks to ink up the front. Uh, I'm going to use abandoned coral, tumbled glass, peeled paint, and wild honey. And I just use an ink applicator uh, to ink up the stencil. Kind of created some stripes with each color, uh, kind of blending them together a little bit. I also did the same thing to the other side of the gate card, basically. Um, went right over the top of my stamped uh, elephants because I'm going to cover those up. Next, I'm going to use the dies that come with the set and with some washi tape to kind of hold them in place. I'm just going to match them up to each um, stamp, making sure that the long edge kind of matches uh, along with the edge of the card. And I noticed this side was just a little bit off. Um, but luckily it turned out to not be too bad of an issue. So after die cutting it, I just used my, my scissors to kind of snip a little bit that didn't quite get cut. Um, I wasn't quite to the edge on one side. And I can just uh, remove the washi tape and the dies and that little insert uh, that die cuts around your image and creates the heart. I also use my scissors to um, kind of round a little bit of an edge that the die kind of creates with the edge of the card. Uh, you might have to do that, you might not. Um, next, I'm going to use a heart die and I decided to put this on the inside of my card. I picked out a die and it actually was a pretty good size for the actual the heart that um, I've already created. So it was a perfect size and I die cutted it from some um, uh, glitter cardstock. It's a uh, crafter's companion glitter cardstock and it's actually really really nice uh, glitter cardstock. If you like it, um, you know, sometimes glitter cardstock can be uh, really rough. The glitter falls off and that kind of thing, but not crafter's companion. This stuff is really awesome. It doesn't fall off. It doesn't fall off even after you die cut it. Um, there's a little bit of a texture, but it's not very rough. You can't like, you know, really rub and get glitter off. I mean, it's really, really nice. And as you can see, you can use your alcohol markers to color the cardstock. And it also does come in different colors um, already too. But I just went ahead and stamped um, the sentiment on a strip of white cardstock. I did trim uh, the bottom part off a little bit because my strip was a little bit too thick. And I just used some black ink for that. And then I needed to add my heart to the inside. So I first used tweezers, but that wasn't working very well. So I ended up just using my fingers to kind of pull that heart into place and where it should go. And then I wanted to just use a uh, pencil to mark where it's at so that way after I put some adhesive I know right where it needed to go. I added double-sided tape and liquid adhesive just to make sure that it would stay inside there nice and good and then I needed to add my sentiment. Um, I decided that I didn't want to be able to see the sentiment from the front of the card so kind of to the bottom right of the heart is where I wanted to put it. And I just notched the two ends of the sentiment, kind of create a little banner. And then I used um, some adhesive dots to actually adhere it to my heart. Um, I just use, you know, some little foam tape now that the inside is pretty much done, I can then take the actual elephants that I've already colored, fussy cut them out, and then I used, again, some double-sided adhesive and liquid adhesive to actually add them to the front of the card. Now this one side, um, like I said before, is kind of off just a little bit, 
So I use my scissors to um, cut around the, uh, the edge there around his trunk and his head. I didn't quite get him into the, uh, the camera there at first, but, um, and I just trimmed around that extra um, bit of cardstock. And it actually turned out to be um, okay. Um, once I got that cut off, you can't really tell that much. Um, and then to help kind of finish it off, um, to help make sure that you can't tell that I messed up a little bit, I just use a black marker to add some black ink around the edge of his head and his trunk. Alright, so now that is done. I erased the pencil mark from my heart and then I wanted to add some enamel dots and I found these glitter dots that actually matched pretty good. Um, they had some nice blue and then I ended up using um, some green too. Um, it matched pretty good with my green stripes. So I like to leave my enamel dots on the acetate and just cut out the individual dots and then kind of move it around my project. And then this way I can decide for sure if I really like something or I can move it around and kind of really decide um, where it all should go. Um, and of course sometimes you can use the rule of three or group things. Um, I kind of went with, I think I used what, four? Um, kind of balanced it out um, along my stripes. And then I used some liquid adhesive to make sure that they um, actually stay in place. Um, I don't really trust the adhesive that's already on there. I don't think it really adheres very well. So I like to use a little bit of help. And then last, I just rounded all the corners. Um, of course, not also the uh, gate card part of it too. And then that was really it. And of course, now you can actually take your little elephants and kind of twist their trunks around. And voila, you have the new Twist Ties stamps from Art Impressions. Thanks for joining me.